Well, never content to leave well enough alone, they are at it again, playing around with stuff that makes the frozen compound of dry ice are you getting it? seem positively tepid. This stuff is freezing. This time, they're using liquid nitrogen. It's yeah, raining that's nitrogen. That's pretty cool. A pure elemental substance that's a gas at room temperature. In that form, it is odorless, colorless, and 80% of the air we breathe. Nitrogen can only be made liquid by cooling and compressing it down in frigid temperatures of minus 360 degrees. Anything warmer, and well, there it goes, right back to an expanding gas. Liquid nitrogen is dangerous because it can freeze anything in seconds, which of course begs the question why these two insist upon playing around with it. There it goes. They just can't help themselves. So can we just pretty much instantly freeze anything we want to uh, today? Yes. But temperatures this cold can lead to some serious fun. <laughs> Let's start. Because it can quick freeze just about anything. Oh. First up. We can start with some gummy candies. Soft, pliable, cute little candies. I'm gonna just dump them in, let them boil up a little bit. So they look like they're cooking. Actually, when they start to slow down, that means they're closer to temperature, but... Speaking of slowing down... Yeah, ready? Yep. <laughs> As expected. That looks like a crystal animal. <laughs> it's not gummy anymore. You have this molecular structure that's in this crystal pattern. It's like perfectly aligned. And when it's gummy, that is free to be bent back and forth. The colder it gets, the more like glass it becomes. And then two seconds after we shot this, it was gummy again. Whatever rate you're cooling this down in the nitrogen, it's going to heat up 100 times as fast at room temperature. All right, that's cool, but I want to break some more stuff. What do you want to break? I don't know. Let's freeze something and break it. We got tons of stuff over. How about a rose? It's probably the softest thing that we've got around here. We just drop this like normal. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right here? Yep. <laughs> That's right. It broke, but to use a scientific phrase, it sort of looks gushy. Yeah, this one was actually starting to convert back to a soft form. You can see that right when it hits, it starts to bend, and then it cracks. It hits that breaking point. Freezing stuff has its limitations. And our intrepid team soon realized that. What we could look at now is how much things change when you contain the gas itself and heat it up. That's going to end badly, isn't it? Usually. OK. The ability to mess with the natural state of matter You're is a great right power. Now. You know how much I love things that go boom? Yeah, this should be pretty big. But with great power, comes great responsibility. All right, if you do the funnel, can you see the bottle? No. Or so we good? hope. Uh, Jeff is pouring super-cooled liquid nitrogen, a substance that wants to be a gas at normal temperatures, into a tightly sealed container. Yeah. Can you guess what will happen next? And how much time do we have after we cap this? I have no idea. Okay. We should have at least 15 seconds. All right. Ah. Now we wait for me to get scared again. With each passing moment, the liquid nitrogen in the bottle is okay. warming up and the gas is expanding. Did you bring any cards? Yeah. You I, have, I have some games on my phone we can play. So we wait. Whoa! That was cool. <laughs> Whoa, that was cool. Why do we think Galileo said the exact same thing when he looked through his first telescope? So I have one last question. Mm -hmm. How much liquid nitrogen do we have left? Let's see. <laughs> As our nitro cowboys rode off into the sunset, 
they decided to give us one last parting shot. We're gonna blow something up. Let's uh, make that parting drop. That's perfect. <laughs> I want to see it. Wow. Bam. There's no watermelon left. A few tips for those of you trying this at home. Don't. We repeat, do not try this. Even if you can get the liquid nitrogen. Even if you decide to break a watermelon.